Hi everyone, Aaron and Carol Lamb with Perfect Postures. Um, so we're gonna do two exercises here, and um, just as a refresher, this is these two exercises are for the elevation in the pelvis. And what I discussed with the Ask Aaron was the um, how a person is diagnosed with a bursitis in the hip, how the elevation in the pelvis could be affecting the tension on the IT band and how that tension then puts stress on the bursa sac itself. So these two corrective exercises you're gonna do in this order. And Caroline has a pillow between her feet. This could be literally a folded up bath towel, it could be an old deflated volleyball or football, something that's gonna give you tension or enough resistance. So Caroline's gonna bend her knees up to 90 degrees. And from here she's gonna widen her knees just a little bit apart. The reason for the widening of the knees is it's going to allow the muscles in the deeper glute muscles to actually contract. So the idea here is we're going to do some strengthening around the hips, which is going to actually help depress that left side of the pelvis. So those muscles that work in the deeper glutes, the glute medius minimus, those muscles actually help aid in uh, creating symmetry in regards to elevation or depression of the uh, pelvis. So she's going to squeeze and release the pillow. And what you're looking for here is a really deep glute contraction here. Uh, unlike doing a uh, glute max, like the bigger um, uh, glute muscle, you want something that's a little bit deeper here. So you're going to squeeze and release. You can do it 10 times. At 10, lower the block. And that's just to kind of reset the whole neuromuscular system and give that weaker side an opportunity to kick in. You're going to bend the knees again. And then you're going to do 10 more squeezes. So you're going to do a total of three sets of 10 on this one. Okay, now from there, we're going to take a strap, and you could use this a, a bathrobe tie, a belt, anything that's going to give you some resistance. We're going to put this around Caroline's ankles here. We're going to keep the ankles hip width apart, and from there, she's going to keep her legs locked straight, and she's going to try to push out against the strap. Now, there's two, two ways of doing this. One is by just pushing the feet apart which we don't want to do, you're trying to initiate the movement from the hips up in the um, hips and buttocks area. You're trying to literally pull your legs apart by using the muscles in the hips. So she's going to do three sets of 10 here as well. Now the idea here is this is going to be a little more focused on the lateral stabilizers of the pelvis and the hip. And again, this is designed to strengthen, not to stretch. Like most times in that case that I was talking about, most times they're trying to stretch the tightness, although we wanted to actually strengthen. All right, so that's it, guys. We'll see you next week. And if you have any um, questions, don't hesitate to uh, shoot us an email. Take care.